Hello everybody, my name's Tia and I'm the youth worker here at The Link. Today we are going to be going through making a water dish for bees. You can put them on your patio, you can put them in your garden. I have one on my front step. So yes, I'm going to walk you through this fun craft. So right here is an example that I've made in the past. So I'm gonna go through showing you how to do a very similar example. So there are a ton of different ways you could be creative and make this your own, but I'll just show you what I have grabbed for today. I had gone to the beach a while back and I had collected a bunch of shells that I'm going to use as my dish itself. Found some oyster shells, I have some clam shells, I actually have a whole bucket of shells. You have them all various shapes, sizes, colors, make it your own. The other thing I grabbed for today is just a little bit of acrylic paint, paint brushes, my little cup of clean water, a paper plate that I'm going to use as a palette, as well as some of these colored marbles that you often find in fish tanks. You can also use regular circle marbles, you can also see in this one that as a little perch, I used a smaller shell on top of a bigger shell. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose which shell I want. So I just happen to pick this clam shell here because I like it, and this one here because it has this uh, neat little purple color. So I picked up those two shells, grabbed my palette. Today I have picked as well a couple of purple paints. So there we go. And some neon green here. So it is kind of your choice whether you choose to paint just the outside or do the inside as well. I don't have any today, but my suggestion is just because it, if you are using acrylic paint, you might want to use a sealant on the inside too, or once the water's sitting in it, it might eventually flake off. So because I don't have the sealant, I'm just going to uh, paint the outside today. And I'm a very messy painter and I don't wash my brush much because I just think it gives a, a different neat type of effect. I'm choosing just to dab my paint on. You can do anything you want. You can paint bees on it. You can put flowers on it. I've seen people do stripes. I've seen polka dots. So, Use your creativity here. Let me just cut it there. So now I have my, my painted shell. It's, it's mostly dry. I'm a pretty messy painter, so that's okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty hot glue gun and I'm going to just put some on the edge here. I'm right-handed and this is plugged into the left and not quite long enough, so I'm, I'm doing my best here with the hot glue gun. And then you can put this piece here and let that dry. Now I'm gonna take some of my marbles because I painted purple, I'm going to choose blue. And what you want to do with these is make sure that they are in a place where the bees can stand on them to drink. Bees cannot swim. So if they end up landing in the water and don't have anything to stand on, there is the possibility of drowning bees. And of course you wouldn't want to come back to drowning bees. So I like to put them a little bit near the edge. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to. I feel like I could probably 
make a little tower in the middle. As I said, be creative, try new things, make it yours. completed bee water dish here. They have a little perch to stand on. So when you put it in your garden or you put it with your plants in the pots, you put it on your steps, you can just fill it up as you're watering your plants and just keep it full that way and, you know, help save the bees. <laughs>